Hi everyone, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to deploy a completely mobile pan tilt zoom camera where we control, control it with the joystick, but have no cables at all. So everything over a wireless network using a wireless bridge and using a battery. We're gonna do this with our lead engineer in this video coming up next. So here's something that we've been working on for quite a while. Matt's actually been working on this. Uh, creating a wirelessly, completely wireless camera out in the wild for pan tilt zoom, but also uh, to power it and do everything. So we're, we finally pretty much got it here. This is outside in our gazebo, and I will cut to this in the video post-production here, but Matt's using our IP joystick here. And we've got our camera up there. And really all we're looking at is the fact that we have full control from our PT Joy over this camera all through the network um, even though it is not actually attached to our network well it is not physically attached to our network in any way so this is something that we've been really trying to do because now think about you could deploy cameras remotely you know almost anywhere how long do you think this battery lasts for Matt? Um, my original and now these are engineering calculations it should be about seven hours not taking into account the fact we're using an inverter, PoE injectors that aren't as efficient, but I'm hoping at least five hours of use out of this battery. So, and I, just to explain here, we've got a wireless access, we've got a network in our building, which has a wireless access point, obviously, and the wireless access point is connecting to a bridge outside. The bridge is connected to a wireless battery, which is also powering the camera. Yeah. So now I'll take you outside and I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like outside as well. Okay, so now here we are outside. This is the camera we were controlling here. Um, and I just want to take you a little bit closer because it's completely wireless. There's, well, there are wires. Yeah. But they're not. So, yeah, we can walk you through this real quick. Here's our PoE battery, or rather, our battery. They do make PoE batteries. This is not one. This is just a standard 60,000 milliamp hour battery, usually made for camping. We have it powering a wireless bridge. Um, this is just a TP link, highly recommended off Amazon. Um, this also can act as a repeater so that if you want it, you can boost your signal locally where you're at. We then have it feeding a PoE injector, and then the PoE injector is feeding the camera. So if you take a peek, we only have one cable going into the camera. Wow. Makes for a clean solution that you hopefully could deploy almost anywhere. Um, you know, you could set up little tripods with this underneath, wirelessly linked back up. And if you're trying to do high-end date or uh, high-end video, they do make really, really good point-to-point -point wireless bridges and access points that can be used for highly professional events. using this in 2.4 gigahertz yeah so we're using 2.4 uh, gigahertz at the moment mainly because it's got a little further reach than 5 gigahertz um, we figured it was you know a smaller bandwidth and as a result if it worked over this it definitely should be working over uh, 5 gigahertz AC things like that cool what we're looking at here is a 60,000 milliamp hour battery there is a separate piece that is an inverter to add an actual AC outlet to it. Um, these two together are about $180. The TP-Link wireless bridge repeater is about $80. Um, this Y cable can be purchased anywhere from $5 to $25. <laughs> and for a PoE injector, it came with our access point, so I can't really tell you how much it costs, but you don't necessarily need that as you could use this extra leg to just use the power supply that comes with your camera. In the camera? Yeah. Uh, camera, this is what, $16.99 for 12X SDI? $15.99. $15 Alright. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We're always trying to give you new tools and ideas for deploying wireless cameras that could help you. You know, I could see someone, a wedding photographer potentially, or a live streamer, you know, putting one camera out. Um, they can still control and pan tilt zoom, but get that video over um, the camera. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next live stream. Take care.